It is essential to be up to date on happenings around you and to make that easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Fresh Light, where we bring fresh newspaper headlines to limelight. Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Alia Moye TV and Radio. Watch, like, subscribe, and make sure your notification is activated on our YouTube channel. You can also like and comment on our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. Tuesday morning, the 30th day in the month of May 2023. Happy that it is the penultimate day in the month of May 2023. Welcome to Fresh Light. Of course, a fresh episode of Fresh Light on Aliamoye TV and radio. And of course, so while you're preparing to go to work after yesterday's holiday, and uh, maybe you're already at work, we're ready to and committed, always committed to bring you up to speed as you get um, happenings around you a top headlines, prominent headlines and stories we have in a different newspapers and fresh lights on Aliamoye TV and radio. Uh, thank you so much once again for joining us. My name is Modukbe Akinyosuye. With me in the studio, I have a couple of newspapers this morning. I have the Punch newspaper, the Vanguard, uh, the Daily Trust newspaper, the Nation newspaper and the Daily Sun newspaper. We will perusing uh, the pages of these newspapers definitely to keep you abreast of uh, different happenings in the country and even outside the country and kickstarting news uh, fresh light this morning the review of the newspapers this morning i will start with uh the daily sun newspaper and uh, check through the prominent headlines we have in the front page or on the front page of the daily sun newspaper from the front page you see uh Tinubu steps in on veil's agenda with several writers right here on the front page and you get uh, the details of that on page six in the daily sun newspaper away from that we also have uh, a statement credited to uh, the presidential candidate of labor party in the just concluded uh, february 25 presidential election of course of which we have a new president uh, right about now i reject shameful condition of our country says ob uh, the rest of that on page 28 in the daily sun newspaper away from that we also have uh, on the front page Sanwalu Makinde Abiodo Umba Oti Fubara and others other governors assume office in 28 states and uh, this object also captures uh, riders on page 26 and 27 graces the very story away from that um Dr. C AIT Ray Power founder dies at 71 rather sad one you get the details of that on page 28 in the Daily Sun newspaper. Away from that, from the front page, you also have this headline. Boari reconstitutes aviation agency board hours uh, before departure. Page 29 captures that very story. Igbo youth groups back Kalo for Senate president. You also get the details of that on page 28 in the Daily Sun newspaper. On the subsidy removal, we have an headline right here on the front page. On the front page, marketers suspend sales after Tinubu's address. Page 2 and page 25 captures the details of that story. Away from that, we also have seed at home in Southeast as iPod marks Biafra Day. You get that on page 5 uh, in the Daily Sun newspaper. And quickly going through uh, Daily Sun newspaper to give you a couple of the details of uh, the headlines from the front page we have senable steps in as president and unveils agenda ashimaju bola ahmed tinubu yesterday took the oath of office with pledge to be a president of all irrespective of circumstances of history and political differences he made the promise in his inaugural address in which he unveiled his administration blueprint the 16th president vowed to defend nigeria from terror criminality, review Naira, redesign policy, interest rates, even as he amended on peace, unity, and progress. He said in its over 60 years history in Nigeria has endured hardships that would have made other societies crumble. 
but for its resilience and strength of its, its diversity, the country has remained intact. And it noted that the handover symbolized Nigeria's trust in God, the enduring faith in representative governance, and a belief in the ability to reshape the nation into the society it was always meant to be. To advance the common vision of a better Nigeria, the president solicited the support of all Nigerians to join uh, me, I quote him now, to join me in making Nigeria a more perfect nation and democracy such that the Nigerian ideal becomes the forever remains the Nigeria reality, end of quote. And he explained that though he fought hard to win the February 25, 25-2023 uh, election, the win does not make him any more Nigerian than his opponent who he pledged to relate to as compatriot. You get the rest and details of that very story uh, from the president, uh, new president of Nigeria and the Daily Sun newspaper with the headline, Tinubu steps in as president on Vail's agenda. Away from that, from uh, the Daily Sun newspaper, you get to see reactions from uh, the statement credited to the new president from his speech yesterday on fuel subsidy. Subsidy removal, fuel scarcity worsens. More oil marketers have shot their gate to motorists, thus worsening the petrol scarcity in Broglio, uh, who, which commenced on Monday, a few minutes after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu announced an end to the petrol subsidy regime in his inaugural speech. And many fueling stations in Abuja had, had queues snacking some meters. A dubious oil marketers are taking advantage of the announcement to create artificial scarcity, which will force motorists to buy petrol at cold throat prices. And meanwhile, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NPCL, and the Nigeria Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority have backed Tenebu's move to immediately end fuel subsidy. And the group chief executive officer of NPCL, Mr. Milikiari, in an emergency press conference at the NPC Towers on Monday night, Abuja told Nigerians that a move was in the best interest of the company. Subsidy removal, fuel scarcity worsens. You get the details of that from the Daily Sun newspaper. Away from that, I also have a statement right here credited to Peter Obi. A rejection full condition of our country. Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has said is on the same page with Nigerians in rejecting the present shameful conditions of the country, but reaffirmed all for a better Nigeria, which is possible. Obi in a statement entitled, At a time like this, my message to fellow Nigerians to mark May 29th turning said this was a time for deep reflection, as well as a time for Nigerians to re-examine our assumptions, even as we reaffirm our hopes, review our aspirations, uh, recalibrate our expectations and pin down the causes of our missed opportunities and disappointment. The Labour Party presidential standard bearer said the country stood at that critical moment in time when, as a people, we must collectively come to grips, uh, grips with the reality of our injured destiny as well as the reasons for that injury. It is for us to reassess our plight as a young democracy and identify clear pathways to be a better and greater future for us all. A rejectionful condition of our country, says Obi. The Daily Sun newspaper captures the rest of that story. A reaction to the just concluded Children's Day celebrated during the weekend. We have a story right here saying, Bridge Nigeria partners with organizations to provide education for less privileged. To celebrate this year, to celebrate this year's uh, Children's Day in Nigeria, Bridge International Academies in Nigeria has reiterated the importance of quality education for every child by organizing special lessons on children's rights and other educational activities. Managing Director, Bridge International Academies in Nigeria, uh, for Yisola Aki, Aki Yeju st stated that there is a need to act with urgency as reports from bodies like UNICEF have shown a decline in the number of children learning in Nigeria. Children's Day Bridge Nigeria partners with organizations to provide education for less privilege. The Sun newspaper uh, graces that story. Away from the Sun newspaper, let's see uh, the front page of another uh, prominent newspaper right here. The Nation newspaper. Uh, from the front page, we have uh, headlines My Plans by Tinubu. 
uh, with the writer here revealing expats back president on subsidy ex and exchange rate policy. Uh, you get that on page five in the nation newspaper. Away from that, from the front page, you also see headline governors unfold agenda in 28 states. You also get the details of that on uh, the, uh, some pages, page 62 and page 63 in the nation newspaper. Ipman six probe of 60 million uh, 60 ml daily petrol, 60 million per liter uh, daily petrol consumption claim. You get that on page three in the nation newspaper. Away from that, you also have torrents of tribute to media Mago. Doc C, you get uh, the details of uh, the rather sad one right there also on page 68 in the nation newspaper. Airport named after Bukhari, Awolowo, Idiagmo, and others. Uh, page eight captures that uh, story. And uh, you also get the highlight of inauguration address on uh, the front page. You see on economy, uh, you also writers revealing that target of 6% GDP growth. Old new Naira notes remain legal tender, more accessible and affordable electricity. Removal of inhibitions to reflow of foreign. Also from the highlights of inauguration address on the front page, you see on fuel subsidy, fuel subsidy gone, funds to be uh, re-channeled into education, jobs, and others. Also, of security, security to, to get top priority. Also, you get the highlight of inauguration address from the front page. On general principle, to be president of all, Nigeria's unity not negotiable, falseness, uh, fairness to all, Africa-centered policy, uh, foreign policy. And also from the front page, you see, Biden pledges to work with new government. Take decisive action. Cantel's president. You also get the details of that in the Nation newspaper. And going through uh, the Nation newspaper this morning, uh, we have um, uh, this headline revealing right here saying, I'm president for all. Test of an address by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu after his inauguration at the Eagle Square, Abuja, uh, revealing, I stand before you honored to assume this sacred mandate you have given me. My love for this nation is abiding, my confidence in its people unwavering, and my faith in God on almighty absolute. I know that his hand shall provide a needed moral strength and clarity of purpose in those instances when we seem to have reached the limit of our human capacity. And this today is bold and majestic yet bright and full of spirit as in uh, is our precious nation. Uh, end of quote. To get the details of a statement credited to the new president, in the nation newspaper and president for all away from that we also have uh, from from uh, the nation newspaper okay on subsidy experts back president on subsidy and exchange rate policies economic experts have expressed support for president bola tenebus plan to unify the nation's foreign exchange rates and reduce interest and lending rates the expert also threw their weight behind Tinubu's announcement at his inauguration yesterday at the er era of subsidy payment on fuel uh, was over. The expert, uh, Professor Uche Waleke of the Department of Economics, Nasarawa State University, Kefi Chief Executive Officer, Center for the Promotion of Private Enterprise, Dr. Muda Yusuf, and the Managing Director and CEO of SD&D Capital Management Limited, uh, Goladi. Idakolo. According to the Economist, a single exchange rate regime will restore sanity to the foreign exchange market and consequently strengthen the Naira. The rest of that in the Nation newspaper with the headline, Experts Back President on Subsidy Exchange Rate Policy. Away from that, we also are from the Nation newspaper, Salary Earners Can't Provide Daily Food. Former President of Agriculture and Rural Development, Aldo Ogweya, said salary earners can no longer afford to provide food for families due to rising prices of food items. Ogwe noted Nigeria's population, estimated at 200 million, is projected as 450 million in 20 years. A figure he said it may be unable to feed owing to poor agricultural youth and lack of mechanized farming. He spoke on World Hunger Day, a National Farmers Day campaign launched, hosted by uh, one actor, one family, with support from Alliance for Science. And the former minister noted few peasant uh, farmers can handle one hectare of land in a year as agriculture is rain-fed. 
and can be flawed hit. Salary earners can't provide daily food. Details of that in the nation newspaper. Away from that, uh, we are taking a quick trip to Oshun State uh, right here with the nation newspaper. A delegate disengages 17 permanent secretary appointment appointed by Oyetola. Oshun State Governor Ademola Adeleke has disengaged 17 permanent secretaries appointed during the administration of his predecessor, Adigbo Yega Oyetola, and named replacement. Oyetola appointed 30 permanent secretaries in 2022. A statement by the head of service, S.A. Aino, last night disclosed that Adeleke has approved the appointment of new permanent secretary in the state civil service. And the uh, investigation showed that 17 out of the names of permanent secretary appointed by Oyetola were not included. The HOS, uh, head of service, further disclosed that the new permanent secretaries will be inaugurated on Tuesday at the local government service commission in Osho State. Adeleke disengages 17 permanent secretary appointed by Oyetola. The nation newspaper captures that story. You got to see this uh, story as well in the nation newspaper. Bukhari renames 15 airports after self, Awolowo, Akintola, Okadibo, and others. Former President Mohamed Bukhari has renamed 15 airports across the country after himself, the late Abafemi Awolowo, the late Samuel Laduke, Akintola, and 12 other prominent Nigerians. The nation learned that Bukhari gave his approval for the renaming of the facility last Friday. The renaming, it was explained, was in recognition of their contributions to the country's development in different sectors. And the head of press and public affairs of the Ministry of Aviation, Odutayo Ulusheyi, disclosed this in a statement in Abuja. Uh, Ulusheyi said Bukhari also approved the constitution of boards for the agencies under the Aviation Ministry, which are mostly institutional representations. From the nation, Bukhari renames 15 airports after self. Awolowo, Akintola, Okadibo, and others. And uh, picking this uh, story, lastly from the nation newspaper, of course, not the least, Bohari back in Daura, Oshibajo in Ikene. Former President Mohamedou Bohari and former Vice President Yemi Oshibajo yesterday returned to their respective state after handing over the reign of power to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima. Uh, the two statesmen arrived at Inamdi Aziko International Airport, Abuja, almost at the same time in the company with their wives. Shibajo and his wife, Dolapo, arrived first at 11.25 a.m., while Bukhari arrived at about 11.30 a.m. with his wife, Aisha. The former vice president, clad in white flowing gown, and his trademark black camp went to join Bukhari in the presidential lounge. For about two minutes shortly after Bukhari stepped out of the lounge alongside Aisha and moved to the tarmac for final departure ceremony that peaked with a military parade the former president shook hands with members of the presidential air fleet before he was thereafter accompanied to the foot of a waiting Nigeria Air Force aircraft by Shibajo his former chief of staff professor Ibrahim Gambari former federal capital territory minister minister Mohammed Bello former labor and employment minister Kristen Gige former humanitarian minister Sadia Farouk, controller general of Nigeria Customs Service, Hamad Ali, among others. Bukhari back in Daura Oshibaju in Ikena. You get the details of that in the nation newspaper. Away from that, let's see a couple of ed headlines we have in uh, the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. Uh, from the front page, we have... Fuel subsidy gone, says Tinubu, with uh, several writers right here on the front page, revealing pledges, narrow redesign review, and higher growth rate. Once interest rates reduced, I will work with you, Biden assures the president. And you get the details of that on page, page 5 and page 62 in the Daily Trust newspaper. Away from that, on the inauguration and stage, we have uh, Tambowa Shunt's inauguration as APC's Aliyu takes over Sokoto. Aliya freezes Benue account. I will sustain peace, resettle more IDPs, says Zulum. We will improve lives of banditry victims, fight ghost workers, says Kassina Governor. Gombe Governor pledges to clear backlog of gratuity. Plateau has a debt burden of 200 billion naira. Uh, Governor uh, Mut Mutfuwang says, uh, Aba Gida Gida issues executive order to probe Ganduje. 
Cross River Governor Reed's Right Act to criminals. Kefas pledges empowerment and security in Taraba State. Makede unveils social economic development agency. Call me Malam, not his excellency. New Jigawa governor revealing that also from the front page. I left $577.32 million, 64.54 billion naira debt. El Rufai revealing. You get the details of all of this on page 7, page 14, page 15, and page 59 in the daily trust newspaper and quickly going through may 2023 and the governor took his oath of office uh earlier on monday he has since taken some actions and in napoli to fend off interest in 130 million pounds of semen from man United prices by about 100 percent to 370 naira from 185 naira per liter However, few other stations, especially the major marketers, sold between 195 naira and 220 naira per liter across Lagos and Abuja. Uh, findings, uh, findings by Vanguard also showed that some of the petrol station operators simply shut their fueling station, thus leading to the emergence of long queues. And this is even as depot owners shut their operations, arguing that further clarification was needed to get activities on the implementation of the new order. Petrol price jumps to 350 naira per litre as queues return. Also, we are getting to see queues in the metropolis of uh, Abel Kuta, the state as well. And I'm sure uh, that will be replicated in other states in the country. Definitely, we are open for the best. Still on the petrol subsidy, we have a story here from the Vanguard newspaper. NLC Ford subsidy removal as Man, Nasima, others ill unified Forex. Reactions yesterday, Trade President Bolatini was resolved to remove petrol subsidy and unify a forex rate. As the Nigeria Labour Congress NOC said, the president was merely flying a kite and would not have the courage to do it. However, the Manufacturers Association of Nigerian Man, the Nigerian Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, and the SEMA, and the Centre for the Promotion of Private Enterprise (CPPE) contended that a president move was in the right direction. The man also said the president proposed policy to utilize the full range of fiscal measures to promote domestic manufacturing signal to better days ahead for manufacturers, even as the Nigerian Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Nasima, said his economic plans were steps in the right direction. NLC forward subsidy removal as man, Nasima, others ill, unified Forex. The Vanguard newspaper captures that story. Away from that, also from the Vanguard, a statement credited to Christian Association of Nigeria, saying Tinubu's inauguration new chapter for Nigeria. The Christian Association of Nigeria can, as described the inauguration of Ashwajibola Hamid Tinubu as Nigeria's president, as a new chapter for the country. Khan President Archbishop Daniel Oko, who said this, in a statement yesterday urged the new administration under Tinubu's leadership to bring positive change and progress to the country. According to him, Tinubu's inauguration marks a significant milestone in Nigeria's history, asking all Nigerians to support the new government in its effort to address the challenges facing the nation. The camp president said, and I quote, on behalf of the Christian Associ Association of Nigeria, Khan, I would like to extend our warmest congratulations to the new president of Nigeria, Ashiwa Jibola Tinubu, as he assumes office yesterday. Tinubu's inauguration, new chapter for Nigeria, says Khan. The Vanga newspaper captures the story. The last story from the Vanga right here, but not the least. 28 governors take over, promise rapid development of state. No fewer than 28 governors made up to 18 fresh hands and 10 returning chief executives yesterday took over in state across the country with a promise to return the fortunes of a state around. At colorful oath taking and hand over ceremonies that lift up the polity, the governors, some of who eat the ground running, outlined how they would ensure rapid development of their states in the next four years. And uh, also in Delta, Governor Sharif uh, was sworn in with his deputy, Sam Monday Onyeme, by the state chief judge, Justice Teresa Idiai Amitres from Deltans and others who thronged the Stephen Keshe Stadium venue at exactly 11.54 a.m. He pledged to run an open and responsive government that will meet the needs and aspirations of the people. The rest of that you see in the Vangani newspaper. 28 governors take over and promise rapid development of state. 
Uh, let's quickly peruse the pages of the Punch newspaper before we call it a day on Fresh Line this morning on Aliamoye TV and radio. From the front page, we see Nigerians won't break up, says Tinubu, meets United States, United Kingdom, and Saudi Arabia envoys with a uh, couple of writers right there. But page two and page 27 capture the details. My cabinet members feared being jailed by Bukhari, says Jonathan. Uh, page 43 captures the story. Government hides $4 billion from Abuja, Kano Airport concession. And uh, page 28 graces the story. Tinubu Abasaki, others mourn as uh, the Kwesi dies at 71. Page 14 as that very story also resurfacing in the Punch newspaper, the front page. From the front page, you also see Sonwolu Abiodun sworn in for second term, Zamfara Governor Lament, empty treasury. Page 6, page 42, and page 43 captures the story. Mother and daughter found dead in Lagos shop. Please kill man. Page 5 captures the metro story. You also see probe begins as rampaging youth set Lagos police station ablaze. You get that on page 4 in the Punch newspaper. Away from, uh, let's quickly go through a couple of uh, stories from the Punch newspaper. And of course, uh, you see this very story. Nigeria wants to break up right there in the front uh, in the punch newspaper says tunubu meets us uk and saudi arabia's envoys uh with a couple of writers president bola tunubu on monday in abuja took the oath of office and allegiance as the 16th president of nigeria with a vow that the country would not break up tunubu in his inaugural address at the eagle square also unveiled a series of steps they would take to position the country on the path of economic development stability and prosperity Shortly after his inauguration, the president met with envoys from the United Kingdom, United States, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Brazil, South Korea, Israel, Cape Verde, Somalia, and Rika Rig at uh, the presidential villa. Abuja, the diplomats presented their goodwill messages and letters of support and solidarity to Tinubu. Nigeria won't break up, says Tinubu, meets US, UK, and Saudi Arabia's envoys. Away from that, you see uh, the story also. Group ask Tinubu to um, to retain outstanding appointees of Buhari. A group Southwest Professional Youth Network has urged President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to retain some outstanding appointees in the immediate past regime of Major General Mohamed Buhari retired. And the group made this known in a statement made available to journalists on Tuesday, May 30, 2023, hours after the inauguration. Of Tinubu at Eagle Square Abuja convener of the group, Comrade Shio Adea no, uh, noted that since Tinubu's administration and that of Boadia are from the same party, it is only fair that a new leader should retain those who have proven themselves in the past government. Group asked Tinubu to retain outstanding appointees of Buhari. The Punch newspaper punches that out this morning. Uh, away from that, uh, we also have. Uh, Punch newspaper taking us to uh, the neighboring state, Ibadan. Makide reappoints chief of staff, replaces uh, CPS. The Ayo State Governor, Sheyi Makide, on Monday reappointed his chief of staff, Shegun Ogunwi, and replaced his chief press secretary, Taiwo Adisa, with Suleiman Olariwaji. Olariwaji, until this appointment, was the group business editor, Nigeria Tribune. The governor made uh, the first two appointments at the presentation of a transition report held at the executive council chamber governor governor's office agodi but you get more details of that from the punch newspaper with the headline makide reappoint chief of staff and replaces uh cps and away from that uh, we have this uh, rather sad one okay um let's take this story from the spot pages quickly because of the time napoli offer osime pay rise Napoli are reportedly said to offer Victor Osime a new contract as they look to keep the striker despite strong interest in him from elsewhere. Manchester United and Chelsea are among the clubs that are tracking Osime, who is the top scorer in Serie A this season with 25 goals. According uh, to Calcio Mercato, Napoli owner is eager to keep Osime at the club and is doing his utmost to convince him to stay. Paris Saint-Germain and Monaco have also been linked with the prolific 24-year-old. Napoli 
of foul seam appearance. The details of that in the punch newspaper and also the spot story from the punch newspaper um, revealing uh, right here from the punch newspaper that Iyena Cho eyes quick Leicester return. Okay, while this I uh, decided not to uh, give details right here this morning, they'll call it today on Fresh Light on Aliyamoye TV and radio. Thank you so much for uh, staying with us. Of course, we always, always, always a pleasure that you are staying with us and watching us, liking, commenting on all our videos and programs right here on Aliyamoye TV and radio. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliyamoye TV and radio. Follow, like, subscribe, comment, and of course, share uh, our videos right there. Thank you so much. That will be all on Fresh Live this morning on Aliyamoye TV and radio. I remain Modukbe. Hakiyo. So you do have a fantastic day ahead. Good morning. Mm -hmm.